back here in Emory for the second time. I um I got out of here Friday and I was supposed to come back Monday for a CT scan. However, I woke up um Monday morning and uh, my back was hurting and then my stomach started hurting all the same pain that I was going through before and uh, then I threw up and then my chest started hurting I'm like oh here we go again so uh, we got to Emory and um, I was just gonna go in for my CT scan but the pain was just not subsiding so they ended up uh, wheeling me down to their emergency room to evaluate me there uh, apparently Mondays are very busy days for their emergency unit because uh, I was sitting there waiting to be seen for about four hours. It was ridiculous. But um, once they did see me, um, they ran. They did end up doing a CT scan and um, they um, ran my blood and everything came back normal. So they really didn't know why. I was still in pain so they just kept me in their observation unit which is like an extended ER they kept me there overnight just to see if the pain would subside in the morning so the morning came the the gastro and I don't have me saying it wrong the 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 stomach people basically they came and talked to me and was like I'm not telling me again my scans <clears throat> look normal and everything is doing what it's supposed to be doing so they're going to keep me another day because they wanted to do the procedure on Wednesday the procedure that they were supposed to do next Tuesday which was go in and take the stent that they put in take that out but they said since I was already here might as well take it out now since it's already done what it's supposed to do I'm like, all right, well, I'm already here. So, um, come Wednesday, they, um, do the procedure. I, uh, freaked out again, as usual, before the procedure, because it's just, it's just, it's, it's a mind thing to me. I, I, I don't know, but beforehand, I was freaking out. And, um, they put me to sleep. Uh, that was around... Mm, three o'clock between three and four o'clock that's when they finally took me back put me to sleep my mom was here um apparently when i woke up there was some um, complications during my surgery so what the surgery was supposed to do they were supposed to go back in and take out the stent they did that that went fine then i have um necro necrotitis or ne necro I don't know what it's called basically I have dead skin not dead skin I have dead tissue in my pancreas because when the cyst grew it it killed all the cells and stuff around it so I had that floating around in my pancreas so they had to scrape all that out they did that fine no problem but to see inside the pancreas they have to put CO2 because the pancreas apparently shrinks so they had to basically blow it up like put something in it to make it so they can see what they're doing and so they use CO2 to do that apparently there was a hole somewhere in my pancreas that they did not see so once they did put the CO2 in my in my pancreas it seeped out of that hole and went all through my abdomen so when I woke up I was in excruciating pain like you would think somebody like I was I thought I was dying I couldn't move I couldn't stop crying I couldn't fully wake up it it was rough so finally they kept giving me different medications to to, to subside the pain and calm me down and everything so by the time everything kicked in and I was able to go back to my room. Hey. Okay, I need blood sugar. Okay. My bed. My nurse that came in here to 
get my blood sugar. But, um, where was I at? Uh, pain. Then having a hard time waking me up. Yeah. So I had to stay down there for an additional couple hours. The procedure is only supposed to take about an hour. But I didn't come upstairs till about 11 o'clock. Like, they were having such a hard time keeping me awake and and the pain and just, oh, it was unbearable. So, last night was rough. Um, my baby father, luckily, he came up here and was able to help me out. He stayed up here that night and uh, he's coming up here tonight as well. Um, today has been really hard. Um, I need assistance with getting up the amount of pain I'm in. It's, it's hard to walk. Uh, it's hard to use the bathroom. Um, they had me back on liquids, but unfortunately they think that's what's causing me to still vomit because I've thrown up twice today and I've been nauseous all day. I don't think it's the food. I think it's the medicine back there that I have it on the pump basically now. I push this button and I get a shot of the medicine. It's a pain medicine, so I'm thinking that's what makes me nauseous and sick, but they think it's the food, so they've taken me off food again, and now I'm back on the, I mean, you can't see it up there, but the, the TPN, which is the white bag of food that I was on before with the, <coughs> excuse me, pick line, this time they put it in my hand, because the one in my arm's already taken. Okay, I'm sorry, I haven't forgotten. It's okay. good somebody. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. This is my food. It's ice. And there's just brought it back in. That's all I'm allowed to eat. And, um, and this is, this has been rough because I thought I was doing good. It's like been a roller coaster summer. It's like I'll be doing good. It gets worse. Do good. It's even worse. Do good. It's even worse. And it's like, I'm just so ready for this to be over. I'm hoping tomorrow they're not about to do no other procedures or nothing because honestly I can't even handle it it's mentally I can't handle it like I thought I was going to flip out when they was doing before they did the procedure yesterday like the, the surgeon had to even come in there and tried to calm me down and uh, it was rough but um I just I really just want this all to be over and it just seems like it's never ending it's already the end of uh, July. I've been dealing with this since June 8th. I think that was the first day and everything started. Like June 7th or June 8th. And it's July 25th and I'm still going through all this. So it's not really fair. I want to be home with my baby, but I'm stuck here in the excruciating pain that I be in. Um, they said basically as far as the CO2 that it needs to get reabsorbed back into my body. So that could take a while. They said it could take a couple of days, it could take a couple of weeks, who knows. But as long as I can't get the pain under control, I'm not going anywhere. So one doctor said I'll be here a couple of days. Another doctor said since I'm healing, I should be leaving tomorrow, but it's like, I don't know who to believe, because it's based on the amount of pain I'm still in, and I have to be able to go home without using this pump, and since I need it, I mean, I don't see how I could go home tomorrow, so, anyways, so my mom will be here tomorrow, um, you know, my baby father, he's coming tonight to help me. He's, he's been surprisingly helpful. He was here, uh, like I said, last night. Um, he was here the night before, too. Um, he was here a couple of nights last week. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I may not be the best baby father, but as far as being a, a friend that I need right now, he's he's been there. So, that's not only positive thing I can say about him. But anyways, I'm gonna try to eat a couple of ice chips. 
uh, take some more meds and uh, take a nap. Hopefully one of the nurses will be free later so I can, uh, they can help me walk around. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching my updated video.